We actually have got a call. I'm hoping we get him on the line. It's got a really nice electrochemical cell question. Very unusual. And I don't, I don't think I've got him on the line yet. Christian, are you there? No? Okay. Christian, can you hear me? No? Okay, not there yet. Just wait. Okay. And what the question is, it's, it's a roundabout way of answering the question. Christian, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Ben. Great, okay. Christian, what I'm going to do, because your question's quite long-winded, okay? I'm going yeah. to summarize it, and then you need to tell me whether I got it right, okay? And then we'll go through the questions. All right. Oh, that's okay. Is that okay? okay? All right. So yeah. now, what you said to me was we had two learners who had to make a, a galvanic cell. And yeah. the cell had to be able to power a light bulb of 1,5 volts, right? Exactly, yeah. Okay. Then, they, then you said to me that they were given the zinc electrode, correct? Yes. All right. And they had to find out what the second electrode was. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. that's right. Okay. Then you said to me they decided on whatever metal it was, so I'm going to put a little question mark, and then they connected that electrode that they chose to the positive terminal. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the voltmeter read minus 2,11. Okay. Yes. Now, what they implying in the question, Christian, so the first thing I'm going to do is what is the information they're actually giving me, okay, is yeah. in a galvanic cell, is the positive terminal the cathode or the anode? The positive terminal is the... Is it the cathode or anode? It's cathode. Cathode, okay. So the unknown metal is my cathode, which means the zinc must be what electrode? Should be. If the unknown one is the cathode, it's anode, then anode, the, then anode, zinc is an anode. The anode, which means the zinc electrode must what must happen? What must happen to that zinc electrode? Is it oxidized or reduced? Is it oxidation? It must be re yeah, oxidized. It's oxidized. Okay, great. Now, what was the first question? Well, the first question that uh, which electrode is the cathode, and one should motivate it and. Okay, so they want to know which one's the cathode. You've just answered that question for me. Which one was the was the cathode? It was the other uh, electrode. The, un the other one, the unknown electrode, the one we didn't know yeah, what yeah. the metal was. Okay, good. The second question. Uh, what condition of what conditions of temperature and concentration did Joy and Hope need to maintain in order to get the desired voltage? Okay, they're asking you what conditions of con of concentration and temperature must be maintained. Now, this is very important because these are the same for every, every single cell, okay, for standard conditions for us to be able to use our redox table. Do you know what those are? What? What, what, what is this? In, for any cell, for standard conditions, the concentration is the same value. Do you know what that is? Yeah, 1.00 uh, decimeter One mole per decimeter cubed. Yeah, one mole per decimeter cubed. Good. Yes. And the temperature? 25 degrees Celsius or 278 Kelvin. Is it 273 or 298? 298. 298. No, that's great, Christian. Okay, that, that's the trick there. It's not normal standard temperature, so you're doing great. Third question. Use the table of standard reduction potential. Okay, so we're going to use the redox table, yes. So identify the second electrode. So we've got to identify the second electrode. Now, it, I'm assuming this is where you got a little stuck. Would that be right? Yeah, this is where I got stuck. Okay. Now, on your information sheet, you're going to be given an equation. You've seen this equation before. E cell equals my, the, the value e cathode, cathode, e cathode minus, minus e anode. Okay. What was yes. the value of the E cell that they gave you? Negative 2.11. Negative 2.11. Now, you've already told me that we the unknown one is the cathode. Okay? Yeah. On your redox table, what's the value for zinc? Do you know? Uh, it's negative 0 
negative 0 0.76. Now, if you solve this, so we take that over, okay? You can do the maths. Mm. The cathode value becomes minus 2,87 volts, okay? Yes. Now, I'm going to show you. I just want to show you. I'm going to have a redox table. It's quite small, so you're going to have to pay attention, okay? Okay. We've got the minus 287. So we look on our table till we can find it. And it's near the top. Okay? Yeah. All right? So it's near the top. So um, there's our minus 2,87. What metal is it next to? What, what? What metal goes with that 287? I think calcium. Calcium. That's, calcium. Your, ca that's your cathode. It's the calcium. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You happy yeah, with think, that? Okay. Yeah, now, let's, yeah. let's finish the question, okay? I want to finish it with you. I want to make sure you got the rest. So, <laughs> no, it's fine. It's also good for the viewers, okay? So, we okay. calcium is the cathode. Okay, so that's the answer, okay. cal calcium. But you must have all the rest. What was the yeah. second, what was the next question? Write down the, the half reaction that occurs at the electrode. Okay, straight off your redox table. At the anode, on each electrode, they said, hey, Christian, each electrode. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, the zinc one, zinc goes to what? Zinc ion. Zinc two plus plus two electrons straight off your redox table. Now, what you need to do when you do this, Christian, this is really important for your markers, is I want you to tell me that that's the anode. Okay. Okay. okay so yeah. you must you must identify it. Okay. And now. Okay. Off, thank you for the tip. Yeah. Okay. Off the. The calcium one is two plus plus two electrons. Yeah, okay. So, cal so calcium is reduced. And right? Yes, it's reduced or it's the cathode. If you want to write reduction and oxidation by each of those, that's also fine. Okay. You just want to show your examiner that you actually do know what they're what you're doing. Okay. I know what I'm doing here. Great. Now they ask you two ways to increase the voltage, right? Yes. How would you do that? If I'm going to increase the voltage, what would you do? According to the chatteries, I think you should increase the concentration of... Yes? Uh, of which part? Of, of calcium. Does it matter which concentration you increase, calcium or zinc? What? I think you should increase calcium. Uh, you can increase both. doesn't matter. All right. Okay, okay. You're going to increase okay. the concentration. And when you write that, all right, Christian, you must say you're going to increase the concentration of the electrolytes. Okay. Okay, because it's the liquid you're increasing the concentration of, not the solid. Okay? okay. Yes. Okay. And for and the second way, how else would you increase voltage? Because that's one uh, way. No, I don't know the, the, the second way. Temperature. Oh, temperature. Okay. You would adjust the temperature, would increase a little bit. Okay. Okay. All right. And then yeah. the, the last question, I really like that last question. What was the last question? Give possible reasons why uh, their bulb did not light up, okay, so despite their selection of the correct voltage. Okay, so now they're asking you why didn't the light bulb light up? They got they got two they got over one comma five volts, but why it didn't work? What yeah. do you think they did wrong? Maybe the. Okay, when you look I, at no, I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to use the redox table again because I want to show you something. Okay. Okay. The calcium has to be uh, has to be redu um, reduced, okay. and the z the zinc had to be oxidized. Okay. Do you see it's yes. Do you see it's the wrong way round? Okay. Can you see that okay. it's the wrong way round? The calcium's above the zinc. It should actually be below the zinc. Okay. Do you see okay. that the zinc yeah. had to be oxidized? They told you it was the anode. So they actually needed to select a metal below zinc. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. And in fact, if you go down the periodic table, they actually needed to use fluorine with zinc. They shouldn't need me to. Oh, no, they wouldn't have used fluorine, I lie. Um, they would have had to use one, something below hydrogen. Okay. okay. So something yeah. like um, copper is a little too small, probably iron would have been okay. a good choice. All right. So they yes. they've... They've used selected a metal that means it's not a, a, incre a spontaneous reaction. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Thank you, Christian. Good question. Well done. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye.
拜拜。